My name is Princess Arike Olua from Elayo. I'm also the Ere Lua Demola of Ifebara land. And I'm also a Yibewaji of Isolo Ijesha land. Because I love taking care of the needy, I love taking care of the widows and the orphans. So KBAC felt it was just appropriate, approached me that he will want me to be an Erelu, Ademola of Ifewara land, so that I can have an impact, positive impact on the women and the on the women and the children of Ifewara land. So, and I accepted because I think that's my passion, taking care of people. People have a wrong notion of thinking that Erelu title, it's something that is, um, that is full of, um, cultism or things like that no it's not anymore i don't know about in the past but i know that as an irilu i did not have to eat anything i did not have to drink anything nothing was put on my forehead no incision on my body or my head and i wasn't inducted into any um bad or cultic group so it was actually church members that actually were there it was praise worship and kbsc is a christian my most difficult challenge i didn't have challenges i only had one challenge <laughs> so was was people thinking that because i'm a i'm an irilu now i'm a bad person i'm a dangerous person some of my friends even stopped talking to me they actually believe that because i'm an irilu now i can kind of induct them into an occultic group so so it i've been trying so hard to explain to them that i'm not a lubin and erelu is not something that is bad it's just like an honor if they know that you are somebody that is um powerful or useful to the society the kings would like to bring you in to help their community i'm using this medium to convince everybody again that being an erelu it's not bad though, it's rather a good thing. How I started Emperor and Dokas Owolabi Foundation. I started EDOF in 2017. This was my mother's dream. We talked about it before, but unfortunately we we're going to execute it, but she went to meet the Lord. I was very close to my mom, so that affect, her death really affected me. So it took me a long time to do it. It kept bothering me. It was just on my mind that for me, you need to do this. We need to do this. So in 2017, January, I decided that I was going to start the foundation in December. So from January, I started saving. I opened an account and I started putting my extra money into that account. I stopped buying shoes. I stopped buying clothes. And one thing about me is that when I set my mind on something, I go all out for it. So by, by September, I had enough for the foundation so i called my best friend professor Folake Onoyemi, who is a professor in university of Ibadan, and i discussed with her and we also involved some other group one of them is mrs pelumi Iluwale, with some other group team members so we started so december 17 was our meeting edition i wasn't there because the money i was supposed to spend traveling to nigeria and uh, everything i just put everything into it and ever since, we'd always add December 17 to be Emperor and Dokazawulabi Foundation Day. By the way, Emperor is my late father's name, and Dokaz is my late mother's name, and Awulabi is my maiden name. So that's why it's Emperor and Dokazawulabi Foundation, just in remembrance of my parents. We do a lot. We give them food. We give them scholarships for the children. We give them health insurance schemes. We, and we don't even, we follow up with them. We follow up with them to find out if after the December program, we follow up to see if they're still in need of something. I, it's not only in December, on my, my birthday is June 15. Instead of me having a party or spending money on unnecessary things, photo shoot, I send money home and I have them go over to the hospitals and take care of hospital bills and everything like that. My team are very, very powerful. I have Mr. Felix Agbaje too as the coordinator. You guys won't believe that I have never attended 
NEED, Emperor and Dokasewola Abi Foundation Program. Yet, it's a always an, an outstanding program at the end of the day because the team members do a lot. They do a lot to make it go well. So we don't have any backing from any government. I work very hard. I work very, very hard. And I put all the majority of that money into the foundation, taking care of the widow and the needy. People close to me know that I don't, I can't stand to see anybody suffer. Emotional, financial, physical, anything. I can't stand to see anybody in need. Right now, I believe Emperor and Dokaso Olavi Foundation is going places because now they are inviting us to Abuja. We are taking it to Akure. Actually, we are based in Ibadan because that's where I grew up and that's where my mother and father were. That's where I was raised. That's why I decided to have it launched in Ibadan and not Akure, which is where they lived the last years of their life. I just wanted it to be in Nevada. We are hoping that in the next five years, we're going to be taking care of thousands and thousands of people. We have an orphanage in Nevada that we actually adopted and we're taking care of all the kids in the orphanage. Some couple of years ago, we took Christmas party to them. And you see, you could, I was crying. I was watching and I was crying when some of those kids were saying they had never eaten jollof rice. Some said they have never eaten jollof rice in their life. And some said they have never seen Santa because we took Santa to the, to the orphanage and Santa was there to give them gift. The kids were crying. They couldn't believe it. Things like this really encouraged me. So when I see things like this, I just want to pump more money, pump more money, pump money into the foundation. Giving is my passion. Actually, in a week, if I haven't given, if I've not given anything out, I'm not happy. Sometimes in America, you know, we have drive through for McDonald's, for all these eateries. When I'm on the drive through I'll just tell the, I'll just give them the guy, usually you would have booked, you would have ordered your food. So when I'm there to pay, they already know how much the car next to me, how much the food is. And I will just say, how much does the person behind me, how much is the food? And he will say, so, so, and so, and I will just pay for it. I would like to encourage people to please try to give. I, I, when I watch social media and I'll see how people squander money, photo shoots, on parties, on things like that. If you can have a once in a while party like I did, I just turned 16 and I had a big party which I've been praying for for years. If it's once in a while thing, it's okay. But when you see people every year, they're doing photo shoot. That is no good. A lot of people are suffering. I've empowered a woman with 30,000 Naira. Now she's able to pay her children. She's a widow. She's able to pay her children's school fees. She's able to, her business has actually grown from 30,000 Naira. You know, no matter how small, please give. Just give. When you give, you, you realize that when you make somebody else is happy, you will be happy. You just have inner happiness when you give. And it's not only material things. Checking on people, give them a call. Sometimes you never know that when you call somebody, you are saving a life. Giving a call is also giving because you are giving your time. Going to visit somebody that you know is not happy is giving because you are giving out your time. It doesn't have to be material things all the time. My name is Princess Irelu Iyebewa G. Arike Uluwa Fumilayo. I'm a mother and I'm a dickiness. Please keep watching Nigeria Extreme. Don't touch the dial. That's the place to be.